a food lab of Potpoto, we, we are spending time gathering evidence that can inform this policy making process and we hope that we can influence that process uh, by focusing on the food systems of Fort Potter. And our methodology is a unique methodology. It's more from the communication side of it. We are working with the radio to mobilize uh, over 200 households across the Fort Potter hinterland. And we are discussing uh, the subject of food in interesting detail. Uh, what are people eating? And why are they eating the food that they are eating? What we have, we have actually found that uh, um, there is a lot of nutritious food available in the hinterland. However, there are challenges to this. Uh, and one of those challenges is a time constraint, especially on women, but also other social pressures like school fees, for instance, uh, and also health care for the family. And, and that's affecting a bit of uh, 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 diet available for particularly young children. Um, a key point, especially uh, for the residents of uh, Fort Porto Municipality at the moment, what we have found is that a lot of food is transported outside to Kampala, for instance, as grain. And what is returned is what they call super flour, especially for maize. And that is interesting in this food lab because uh, we do realize that uh, a lot of nutri nutrition gets exported and what is coming back to the residents is not necessarily nutritious food per se. These are very interesting uh, findings that we are working with in the Photo Food Lab and we do think that uh, uh, they will become a, a part of an ongoing conversation with the Fort Porto Municipal Authorities, a process of which has already started.